How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I wanted to talk about the meta in MLB The Show 21. I know a lot of people are talking about McGunsky's recent video explaining the pitching meta of this game and he's absolutely right. However, a lot of those tactics have been available in MLB The Show for most of the year and it's been at least three months ever since they've released a lot of pitchers with increased hits per nine as well as control and for those of you that don't necessarily know what I'm talking about the word meta in gaming specifically means the most effective tactics available and those have specifically been outlier sinkers and cutters as well as attacking the corners of the strike zone because you're unable to reach those specific pitches with the PCI. So those are the most effective tactics available if you're looking to maximize your strategy and win in MLB The Show 21. And of course, there are a lot of factors that go into that. There is the confidence meter, there's the stamina meter, there is the individual pitch confidence, there is the individual pitcher, as well as uh, their live series active quirks. There are a lot of factors that go into this. And I've been talking a about a lot of these things for many months now and for example pitches like this you can reach the corner obviously this is all-star difficulty and the difficulty matters a lot uh, but you can reach the corner depending on your timing and when you're playing this game on legend the timing windows are significantly decreased and it makes it a lot tougher to hit those pitches on the corners which is exactly what McGunty is talking about in his video it's almost impossible to hit home runs on the pitches low and in on the corners or low and away on the corners because you can't get under them. The PCI does not allow you to get to those spots. Now, although I'm not the best at the game, I obviously make mistakes. I've been pitching with this type of strategy for the entire year. I've always tried to throw pitches to all four corners of the strike zone. Now, he is absolutely right when he's saying all of the things that he's saying, especially uh, on pitches up and inside and up and away. You can allow the opponent to get under those pitches a lot easier because they're located up in the strike zone and you can produce the right launch angle in order to hit those pitches out for home runs, which we'll see a couple examples in this video. Now, I want to reiterate that this is all-star difficulty and I feel like the game plays best on all-star and hall of fame in MLB The Show 21 because of the PCI range you can reach the bottom part of the strike zone when you drop the pci straight down but when you're dropping it down into the right or down into the left you're unable to reach those corners and you have to have almost just early timing or on the early side of good or on the later side of good to compensate and drop that pci based on that timing window um, but with that being said you know here i lost this game i ha accidentally had a player playing out of position i threw a pitch right over the middle of the plate um, but I, I don't always play well when I'm playing this game. Just because I feel like I know a lot about the game doesn't mean I can always execute. But here's an example from my World Series game on Hall of Fame difficulty. And this pitch is located inside off the plate. And I'm able to pull it on the later side of good. But this is after the pitcher has already given up a home run right before this. There are a lot of factors once again. And that pitch was not dotted on the low and inside corner. But... I'll go ahead and link the advanced hitting tip video that I'm talking about where I mention a lot of these things and a lot of the things that McGunsky was noticing. And once again, shout out to McGunsky for making that type of video. And shout out to all of you guys that mentioned his video in the comments. But at the same time, he didn't break the game. This is something that has been in the game for a couple of months now. And I made that advanced hitting tip video talking about these things. And this has actually been something that's been in MLB The Show for quite a while. It's just a lot more noticeable this year because of pinpoint pitching, as well as the increased hits per nine on a lot of these pitchers. If you can dot the corners, you will not give up as many runs, unless you're going up against somebody who is able to turn and burn on those pitches, low and inside, low and away, obviously going to the opposite field with them, and really trying to get under it by almost being a little bit late. That's the kind of baseball that we're seeing played at the top level in MLB The Show 21. Now, I've only played a handful of games on Legend myself, but that's because of choice. That's because I'm also limited on time playing this game, which is one of the reasons why I have not been able to be as consistent with my timing 
while playing. I've been in a, a slump recently. I have definitely struggled at the plate. But that's because I, I also recognize that people are pitching a lot more towards the corners. People are figuring this stuff out and talking about it throughout the community. I know other top players have also mentioned things like this. I know Seabrev is one of the best players in this game and he's one of the most knowledgeable as well so i know a lot of these top players are talking about the meta and how to pitch effectively with finesse pitchers and control pitchers and also using outlier pitchers to minimize those timing windows even more uh, to try and minimize the randomness that takes place within the pci and with the late hits and all those things i mean this game's not perfect but it is a really good baseball game and I just wanted to talk a little bit about this. I wanted to point out some of those things because uh, these people are absolutely correct in what they're saying. I don't know if it's something that will be fixable because this has been the way the game has been playing the entire year almost. Um, but I know that uh, as we take a break, as we kind of get back into it, as we get more pitchers with maxed out hits per nine and really high K per nine, uh, we notice those things a lot more and because of the pinpoint pitching meter uh, being so accurate and even though they made it difficult it's a great feature in the game it makes the game a lot better uh, we just need the PCI to extend to those corners of the strike zone I mean for example this pitch is not necessarily dotted low and inside it probably wouldn't have been a home run but a lot of these hits in this video would not be base hits. They wouldn't be home runs on Hall of Fame or even Legend. I mean, we take a look at that PCI placement, and he's early enough to barrel that ball up with the ball pixel, but that's not great PCI placement. I've hit a lot of home runs in this video as well where the PCI is off the ball, and they're no doubters. That has something to do with the confidence and the pitching feedback, which all of these things I've talked about throughout the entire year. It's really fascinating to break down the way this game plays because once again, these are also three inning games. So the pitcher's stamina is a lot different, right? Choi Otani is 13 pitches in. He might be in the yellow, but this cutter is also pretty well located. It's low and inside. Take a look at where Luis Gonzalez makes contact as well as where his bat is actually at uh, in correlation with the PCI placement. It's not necessarily right where the PCI is located, but depending on the timing, this one's perfect, the PCI moves a little bit. This also has to do with the active quirks like Night Player, Dead Red, you know, uh, Rally Monkey, things like that. Players that are from Team Affinity Season 3, players like Trey Turner that have those types of things. They seem to play above their attributes and they can hit pitches that are on the corners a little bit more frequently because those quirks allow for uh, a decline in PCI penalty and it almost negates it a little bit. So, uh, and, and all of these things I've talked about, I'm not trying to take any credit for the analysis of other people, but I also want to recognize when there's a lot of great content and a lot of great content creators that are talking about some very productive information. So I definitely respect the two people that I mentioned in this uh, video. I think they're great for the community to be able to explain in depth a uh, breakdown of what they're thinking as well as how the game is being played at the highest level. But once again, thank you for uh, showing me that video. I don't think I would have seen it. I'm not always on YouTube. I only get a chance to watch a few content creators and a few different things every now and then. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and I'm looking forward to the upcoming World Series rewards released tomorrow. Peace out.